Right, so as you can see in here, I've got parents evening and I've got various different ones here. But I'm, rather than, sh actually, I'll show you what one looks like, just so you can see it. And as you can see, a copy has been created apparently. <laughs> So, within here, I've got two dif um, different time slots. So this is for my classroom that has two teachers, hence the two different seats. So it means they could do two parents at the same time. Um, this is obviously completely made up. It was actually used for last year, hence the date. But if I show you how to create a brand new one, so you click to add, registration so we're going to call it parents evening spring one um please select your for evening and let's say parents evening is going to be I suppose we could pretend that parents' evening is going to be next month. We'll say the 1st of April. Um, and let's say starts at And I want one seat for each. And then obviously I could just add new as many times as I want. Um, so we'll do these three for now. Um, and then if I want to put a deadline, so it's on the 1st of March. So I want a deadline for the 31st. They could edit their choices and then I just click save. Oh, sorry. I forgot to complete that one. Um, and that's it. So that is my parents' evening booking completed for spring one. Now, as a teacher of Holly class, I want to copy this to my course. So I copy it to Holly class, and within Holly class, I have parents and then parents' evening. So I'm going to leave it here for now in the parents' evening. And then I'm going to go back into my Holly class. For spring one. And I'm going to edit this where it says, don't forget parents evening. Create a tree link. And to my parents. Parents evening spring one and click add. Now, when someone, when a parent opens this up, they see this, they can click on it and it takes them straight into Holly class. I mean, um, parents evening booking. But whatever they select, only it's only applicable for Holly class. So if I change the view to a student, go back to the spring page don't forget parents evening so I can now choose a seat confirm my registration and now when I go back in as an admin I can see that parents evening, spring one, one of them has been chosen. So my parents have already um, 
chosen one of the um, one of the parents' evening slots. So, um, and that all sits in the staff master course. This is in no way affected. because it, although it's created a copy, it does nothing to this one. So I've still got all of this available for parents to choose from. Um, and all different um, can be copied to any, any classroom, any course, put anywhere in the folder. 